Hi everybody and welcome to Art Head Home with the Art Groupies, Developing Great Art Habits. Today we're going to meet two people. One is Roz. We're going to reflect with Roz. We're going to look closely at our artwork and others, maybe someone special. How can I make it better? How can I develop a habit of thinking backwards and retracing my steps? So Roz is number one on who we're going to meet today. Number two is the famous artist Wazli Kandinsky. And we're going to be inspired by his squares with concentric circles. I'm going to start out with using black paper and I have four different sized squares. I have white, five white, five, I guess you would say medium size, then small, and then tiny. I have some glue and I have a pair of scissors. I'm going to start by cutting this square into an oval or a circle. Now you don't have to be caught up on making this circle look perfect, but if you're that type of artist that wants circles to be perfect, think about using maybe something to trace. If you're not, if you don't have a, a stencil, you can use a roll of tape. Makes a perfect circle. Taking those scissors and making sure it chops right down on top of that line. And voila, the perfect circle. You could also think about stacking your papers and therefore it will take less time to make your circles. Just cutting around the edges, placing them around on your black surface. And now taking the next size and cutting that into a smaller circle, reflecting on which oval or circle it would look best on, which colors would match up nicely with one another. Don't glue yet. You want to wait. You want to reflect on the steps that you've taken to see if you can make it better. So right now we're just cutting them out, placing them down, and being inspired by Wozley Kandinsky and his squares and concentric circles. One of my favorite artists. I loved how he always seemed to connect art and music together. My two favorite things. Now I'm going to take my next size squares and I'm going to reflect and think about, ooh, that one doesn't really look, there we go, which one it would look best on. Hmm, maybe this one. I think my orange would look sweet on my blue background because orange is the complementary color of blue. Mm, yeah, that looks good. My purple on top of maybe the complementary color of yellow. 
Um, hmm. Now what I think would look better. This one. I think I'll go with this one. I have some pinks in this smaller teeny tiny squares. So I think that'll be enough pink. There we go. Okay, now I'm going to get started with my smaller teeny tiny squares and cut them into circles. Remembering to reflect and think, how can I make this better? What colors, what size works better in one area than in another? That looks nice. I think I'm going to maybe overlap some of these. Hmm. Maybe move them around, see what works best, which colors work better next to one another. Hmm. Yeah, I like that. Now I'll start off by little dab will do you of glue. No need to do a lot. It's just wasting. Again, put it here. how they overlap a little bit. stack. I think I've got some a nice contrast of different colors and different sizes. I like how the design repeats. I like everything about my Wozley Kandinsky squares with concentric circles. Didn't really have the squares in the background but we started with squares. So we were inspired but in a little different way. So again, my famous artist is Wozley Kandinsky. I hope you enjoyed art at home with the art groupies and Roz in particular, reflecting and deciding, hmm, did I do okay? Should I go and change my design? Eh, I think it works. So thanks. I hope you enjoyed at Art at Home with the Groupies. Take care.